For the past three weeks, we've brought you all around Puerto Rico with us, but our trip is winding down and our final stay is in an oceanfront villa in Isabella. Honey, we could put the past in the backseat. You don't have to say you're sorry. You don't have to say you're sorry. No. We left the vans and riding around all over the island to end it up in Isabella, where we're staying in our Airbnb. The most important part is that we are right on the beach. We're like one minute walk. I cannot wait to show you this place, but I'm excited to get in the water, so let's go. This villa is a particularly good find for the area and just a few minutes walk away from Hobos Beach, which is highly regarded in the surfing community. After a quick dip in the ocean, we showered up and found a place to eat in neighboring Awadilla. Friends, we just got back from eating at a restaurant called Cinco, and it was good. And then we went to a little market, and the market was really good because Jake's got a bit of a throat thing going on, but somehow while we were there, Marose did what Marose does, and now we're crushing up cloves of garlic to shove them up our nostril. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> are you excited? I'm about stoked. Shoving garlic. I'm in honestly your nostril? really excited because I feel like it's gonna work. Let's let's watch the magic happen. Doctor's orders. You didn't know she's a doctor. Of holistic medicine. Here's the concoction that Jake is currently working up. Lemons, honey, coconut water? No, aloe. From oh. the, from our server said wow. this works in Puerto Rico. <laughs> well, we were looking, right? Some doctors swear that this doesn't work to clear out sinuses and mucus and inflammation. But there's articles online that state that garlic does just that. So we're going to try it for ourselves. As I told you, the doctor, <laughs> Web and she's got her WMD, her WebMD. W, yeah, WebMD. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, my doctorate in WebMD. What are your thoughts? I'm excited. I have seen this thing in TikTok and they put it on their nose for like 10 or 15 minutes and then after you take it off, it's just like an ocean of boogers. <laughs> Did you know? There is a pressure point, like right here, that if your nose is blocked up and you're trying to go to sleep, you can just put pressure and you can feel yeah. your sinuses start to clear up. It's so like if, you're, if your nose is ever blocked while you're trying to sleep, like almost... Like a massage. No, no, just find like right here and you'll kind of feel it. You're like, oh wait, oh that feels good. And you just push and you just keep pushing there Get in one out. spot. I feel like it's, it's working. working. <laughs> <laughs> Could be placebo, I don't know. <laughs> no, it's real, it's real. I told you guys, I'm not making this up. I have my WMD as well. According to Maria Jose. Like he sounds, but his voice is husky. If we stick this garlic up our nose, all of our problems in life will be solved. All right. Um, cheers. Cheers. Oh, wait, wait. Are they thin enough though? Because they look big. Oh, this already kind of sucks. They look big. Oh, I'm not gonna like this. <laughs> it smells so oh my bad. God, we got a group picture of this. <laughs> Mine are cut open. Is that bad? Yeah. I don't know. So far, I don't think it works. This is just killing me. It's burning. My eyes are watery. Oh shoot, I lost one. I, I'm still not getting any of this. I have very spicy nostrils right now. This might be gross. No? Yeah? Okay. No, it's not dripping. That's it. Oh, um, that was so Dude, that's weak. so anticlimactic. That was so weak. That was lame. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah, it's coming out. I might need to shove my finger in there with water. Oh. Yours nothing? No? It's like nothing. We planned a day at Cayo Caracoles, which meant we had to be up very early to catch a boat rental. Sadly, Jake and Heather couldn't make it due to workloads they needed to catch up on, but we promised to have enough fun for the both of them. Oh yeah, the drone geeked out and took a swim. With work out of the way, we decided to spend our last day in Puerto Rico with a hike at Survival Beach. Are you ready to get in the water? Let's go. We walked up on a recently beached Dominican Yola boat that likely carried between 25 and 50 passengers fleeing Haiti and the Dominican Republic in hopes of a better life in Puerto Rico. It had been stripped of the outboard motors, but many of the passengers' belongings were still inside. Last day in Puerto Rico, and we have survived Survival Beach. That was a very nice hike, but it got super hot. The reward at the end was just being able to get in the water for a little bit. We're heading to Peña Blanca, which is another beach I haven't visited. I'm pretty sure nobody else has visited here except for Milton and Natalie. But so far, they have recommended some of the most beautiful places. I'm kind of sad that we're leaving tomorrow, but I'm kind of glad too because we have been going non-stop. In the morning, we set off for the airport. Love you guys. Have fun. We'll see you soon. Oh, I love nice. you guys. I love you. Guys you. Guys What's happening? Well, our tire is not flat, but the car won't start. The battery's dead. Why? I don't know. 
We're, we don't have a flat, but our car battery is totally dead. How much? 225. 225. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, that's so much money for parking. I told you guys at one point we were gonna get this garage really, really, really clean. I just didn't anticipate that this would be the reason why we got the garage as clean as we did. So you all are probably wondering where we've been for a little while, and well, maybe you aren't wondering, but we're gonna go ahead and tell you anyway. In light of the housing market going on an absolute maniacal run, well, my parents decided that they were going to sell their house. That way they can downsize, gain a little bit more property, and be that much closer to what they wanna do in the future. How long did you live in this house for? So this wasn't my childhood home, but I've lived here for 16 years. Well, not really. My parents have been here for 16 years and well, this was always a home base for us. It's just crazy to see like the house so empty now after we like build a bus here, build a van. Yeah. I'm getting emotional now. Don't get emotional. <laughs> no. So we've had our work cut out for us. So you guys are super familiar with the driveway and the garage. the garage, but you never really saw the rest of the house. So even though there's nothing in it, use your imagination and, and just envision an entire family here because that's what it's really been for the last 16 years. A house full of yeah. people and dogs. And buses and vans and you know, all that fun stuff. Van. Let's give them a house tour. The downstairs is where my parents and everyone were always at. We had the office, the guest bedroom and all of that. But then upstairs is where, when we first moved here, I and my brother lived. So this is two big empty rooms now. You want to know what the craziest part of all of this is? His parents left this big house to live in this. So needless to say, it was a heck of a lot of work. I am going to sincerely miss this house. It, it, it's just truly, it's just too big for my parents because they're the only ones that are here now. So that means there are some exciting things coming for them as well as for us, but we can let you guys know about that later. You guys don't wanna leave? We have to leave. 